the final home league game of the season, the Steelers. Led, of course, by Laguie. Phil Hill looked ready against the Coventry Blaze. And when Coventry in town, well, one of the most respected figures in the game, Ashley Tate, is in town as well. Sheffield had already killed a Lagui minor for hooking when Janand had a breakaway. Pulled down by Max Lacroix, 11.28, second power play for the Coventry Blaze. Lacroix went for Trippi. Janand and Spencer and Edgner, well, they were to be at it all night. Early chances for Coventry. Frank had to be big. Frank was big, making a great stick save there once and twice. Henrik digging, and then more pushing and shoving. This was a playoff game. A week before the playoff started, this game had every kind of feel of a playoff game. You'll see again. Nice move by the Blaze. Looks like they got Frankie beat. Look at that great stick work. Second session, power play pressure for the Sheffield Steelers. The man who's taken all the hacking and whacking this year out in front, Stefan Meyer, was to get another hack and a whack. He was the screen and Olsen with the cross check. 25-22, Olsen would clear off to the penalty box. You'll see again, Stefan Meyer out in front, bang, the big cross check to the back of Stefan Meyer. And Coventry came with a purpose tonight. Edgner with an edge, Olsen with an edge, and the Sheffield Steelers stood up to it. More power play time for the Sheffield Steelers. Right in the final minute, Conan Dowd go close. Zacharias was outstanding all night. A great glove. More pushing and shoving, and nobody backing down. Third period. More of the same, perhaps. Lacroix, breakaway. Does he leave his stick in Zacharias? The Blaze go after him. Watch Olsen, 33. Henrik's in there, they're all in there. But the Blaze with a height and weight superiority, but the Steelers just stood tall all night. They kept digging, kept working, not intimidated. More chances for the Sheffield Steelers. Zacharias again making save after save. More afters, this time Hewitt and Edgner. Wilson comes in, look at Hewitt laugh him off. Good stop, six and one half a dozen of the other. Edgner with the cross check. And Edgner would disappear to the penalty box at 52-19 with Hewitt. Now keep your eye on Nate DiCasmiro and Ben Olsen. Bottom of your screen. It was a battle going on as Dowd was weaving. Keep your eye and watch the elbow to the Casmiro. Dumb penalty from Benny Olsen. He would go to the penalty box. We'll see it again. Power play time for the Sheffield Steelers. Ben, not impressed. Scotty Allison impression, couldn't quite pull it off. Steelers, four on three power play, became a five on four power play. The puck would go from Laguie to Lacroix, to Dustin Cohn, through traffic, 1-0 Sheffield Steelers. At last it came, 54-31, Cohn the scorer, Lacroix and Laguie with the assists. You'll see Zacharias can't do too much about it, the screen from Laguie in front of Edgner. And it was going to take a goal of that quality to beat Zacharias on a Saturday night. Look what happened then, the teddy bear toss. He'd been holding on to them for nearly an hour. And they came down to the Fountaindale SEN school, courtesy of all fast. Even Steeler Dan got involved. Hope he wasn't taking those home. Time out Coventry. Lefebvre and Adams do their work. Blaze with the extra attacker. Zacharias has been pulled. The empty net awaits, and Blight gets a breakaway. Most players will make the play for the net. No, gives it to Max Lacroix. He shoots, he scores, and with 58 seconds remaining, the Steelers have insurance. Lagui picks up an assist as well. The Steelers 2-0 victors. Now it was just about shutting out the blaze. Frank Doyle had a league lead in five shutouts. He's now got six. There was more afters to come. Olsen had to have his last say. Steelers players 
not standing back at all. So Olsen picks on, yeah, Robert Dowd. Good call. Handshakes at the end. One special handshake. The returning, Mark Lefebvre, after two spells with the club. Every single Steelers player congratulated Lefebvre. Zacharias, outstanding man of the match for Coventry, but Frank Doyle, sixth shot out. How good is Frank Doyle right now? Our thanks to Northern Ground Care. Outstanding match sponsors. Captain Stephen Gertson was in the dressing room to welcome home the Steelers after a 2-0 victory. Let's hear what the big G had to say about that win. Obviously it was good enough to, to get the win, but I think we need to uh, improve if we're going to go on and win the playoffs, but obviously very happy with a win anytime you can kind of win. And uh, again, I think the guys are working incredibly hard. Um, you know, I think we could have finished the game earlier than, than later in the game. I think we had a lot of chances. So a little bit of execution, but we're doing a lot of right things. Um, I thought Gordon Baldwin had a great game, and obviously uh, Frank Doyle's been outstanding, so he's been a huge, huge bright spot for us. We're really happy with that. The longer the game goes on, is it frustrating the fact that the team haven't managed to get that goal? No, I, no for us, no. Um, a lot of teams that I've ever been on a coach, then yeah, the more it goes. Uh, but with us, the, the longer it goes, the more likely we're going to score, to be honest. I think the guys uh, dig in a little bit, and um, it was one of those things you could kind of feel it on the bench. Um, and you can feel it, like the morale. I hope the guys can feel it. You know, they're talking, and they, you know, they know it's going to come. It's only a matter of time, so it was a great shot from uh, Dustin Cohn. We definitely needed that tonight. He doesn't score many, but when he does... You know, that was, that was a, yeah, that was a big one. You know, power play goal too. We we desperately needed that goal, and uh, you know he he's been playing extremely well for us. Uh, he, he's a he's a tremendous defenseman. He's such a such a good skater, and there's so much offensive upside. So really happy that he got that one. He's got rewarded for all his hard work. And of course, a uh, first look at Coventry under Mark Lefebvre, a side that you could end up meeting in the playoffs. Yeah, you know what? I thought they played really well. Um, at times, I thought they were better. Uh, they played a they played a, a really good system and um, they're a lot more defensive than I thought they were going to be. So that's I think a lot of credit to him for having the guys in the right area. So they're dangerous with their skill, but I thought they played strong defense and their goalie played extremely well. So when you kind of combine all those things, I I, th I thought they played really well tonight. To be honest, is that an indication of how nervy a potential playoff? game might be tonight? Yeah, I don't know about nervy, but it, it's just awareness that the games are going to be tough. It's not going to be easy in, in that first round of playoffs, and you got to acknowledge that, that these, that these teams have uh, have been playing kind of playoff-type hockey for a long time where they've been desperately needed points, and they're doing what they can to get them. So it, it's just a little bit of awareness of the situation, I think, not necessarily nervy.